One of the great additions to SOLIDWORKS over the past couple of years has been Instant 3D. Now Instant 3D allows us to uh, instantly create and edit dynamically features uh, without the hassle of uh, editing our features from our feature tree. Now if we make sure our Instant 3 is enabled by clicking on our button we can go to any particular sketch and we can click on here and actually access a green arrow that allows us to drag this up. Now you can see from here I can drag this up a specified value or I can just drop it in and change the dimension. So we're just going to drop this in approximately about there. And what is nice about this particular example is that we've created the value at 26 but that's an actual extrusion. Because the sketch plane actually goes through the base plate I can actually click on here and not only can I drag it up higher, but I can also change it from an extrusion into an actual cut. Okay, without actually the hassle of going to the feature tree and deleting it and recreating it. So, a great way to actually just dynamically see approximately how that feature is going to be once completed. Another example, click on here. Again, I get the arrow and I can actually drag this along. But because of the actual direction of the sketch or the plane in which it's drawn on, I haven't got that option to actually change that into a cut because it does not pass through the base plate. But it does allow me still to actually dynamically change the shape and the sizes. Using the shortcut key, uh, what I can do is actually just create a sketch on here. And again, we're just going to drop in a circle. I'm just going to create a circle in here. Just double click to come out of the sketch. And if I click on it again, I've got that arrow. And again, we can actually just extrude this up a specific distance. Okay. I can also copy this if I hold my control key. And I can drag and drop it onto that face there. Okay. And again, by clicking on the face, we have got the option on here. We can actually extend the extrusion. Or if we wish to, we can convert that into a cut. Very easy to do using Instant 3D. Other ways of using a shortcut, I can actually uh, click on my chamfer. And I'm just going to drop a chamfer on this particular edge. I'll go at 10mm at 45 degrees. Just accept that. And if we click on it, you can see we've got a number of selection options. First of all, I can change the angle. Okay, I can change the size. Or if I wish to, using this particular option on here, I can actually copy it. So, or in this case, I'm going to move it. I'm just going to click on this particular point and drag and drop it onto an edge. And you can see we've actually moved that chamfer from one edge to another. If I hold down my control key and repeat the process, what we'll do is actually we'll be copying it rather than actually moving it. The same applies for a fillet. So if I go in here and select a fillet, click on that edge. And you can see now that we've got a, a fillet, we've got a nice preview. We'll just accept that so we're going to have a closer look. I'm just zoom in. Again, if I click on it, I can actually copy it. So I hold down my control key, click on that particular blob and drop it onto that edge. And that copies it over to that edge. But you'll see that we've got this pink line. And if I click on here, I can actually dynamically change that fillet. So a really great way to actually see what our model looks like before we actually decide on the final dimensions.